All right, so this is our tutorial. We'll be looking at the rule book, going step by step, uh, setting up the game, and playing a tutorial game. Are you guys ready with me? I have my son and my daughter. Wave with your hands. And we're going to show everyone how easy it is to learn this game, even though it says, what does it say, 14 and up, maybe? Yep. We have, how old are you, Clavin? Seven. Millie? Eight, no, nine. <laughs> she just turned nine. All right, so in the rule book here, we have the table of contents, of course, how to set up and how to play, which is what we'll be focusing on today. Um, it talks about what uh, is on a unit card. So with the game is included a deck of unit cards. And we have the name of the unit, the coin image, the number of coins available, we have the unit illustration as far as what its special power is, and then the attributes and restrictions at the bottom. Uh, let's go ahead and go into setting up the game. So we're going to place the board in the middle of the game, which we already have set up. All right. Then we're going to uh, choose a faction. So. That's just the wolf and the sparrow, I believe is the terminology. Um, so we already have that set up. We're going to take our matching bags for our faction, which we already have. We're gonna take a royal coin, one royal coin each, and then six control markers. Now we use five because once you get to six, you win. So we only actually need five to mark uh, our journey to six. So, um, these con also these control markers are hexagonal. They are found in the nobility expansion. The ones that you get in the base game are circular. Um, but with these hexagonal pieces, all right guys, with these hexagonal pieces, you can see the corners of the control markers while coins are on them. That, that, that way it's easier to see. So for example, go ahead and put your markers down on your starting locations control markers down okay and then uh, put we'll do a test so put a coin on top of a control marker and you can see there you can see the corners the edges all right so we we like to use these hexagonal ones um, that come in the nobility expansion okay so you're gonna put your factions royal coin in your bag go ahead and do that mm-hmm and then you're going to place, uh, we already did, place one control marker on each of your starting locations. There we go. Uh, the other locations are neutral. So these locations in a two-player game are only the light area we're going to play with. They are neutral at the start of the game. All right, we're going to, we're going to try to take those over throughout the game. So for your first game, we recommend you and your opponent use the unit card shown in this picture. So that's what we'll do. Where we have player A with light cavalry, pikemen, swordsmen, and crossbowmen. Player B with a scout, lancer, archer, and cavalry. Okay, so once they have their unit cards, we're going to take the matching coins from our coin supply and go ahead, and we like to place them right on the card. So the number of coins that you need to get are shown on your card, either times five or times four sometimes. So go ahead and find your matching coins, guys. All right. Um, another way to play is you can shuffle up all the unit cards and deal four in front of each player if you'd like a random start to the game. Um, and then finally, another way for setup with units is a drafting mechanic. And this is what people use for competitive games. Um, we'll go into that during one of our episodes when we talk about strategy to drafting. Um, for now, we're just going to go ahead and get into this tutorial game. So, next up is flipping the initiative marker. This shows who the first player is. In the beginning of the game, we're just gonna flip it, find out who's first. That is the Sparrow player. So player B, in this case, will be our first player with initiative for the game. All right, now the note in the rule book says we're not going to use these outer areas that are darkened, only the center light areas, okay? All right, so you're going to then put two unit coins of each type into your bag. 
the the rest that are still out here is called your supply. All right, there's also four player game components, which we will not be using today. There's also um, setups inspired by famous battles in the rule book, which we'll not be showing today as well. Um, All righty, how to play. So first we're gonna talk about the overview of the game. So a game of war chess is played over a series of rounds. Each round is divided into two phases. First is the draw coins phase. So to draw coins, you're gonna shuffle up your back and draw three, okay? The second phase of the game of each round is called using coin. Before we start, we'll talk about how to win. The game continues until one player or one team has placed all of their control markers on locations. Locations are a special kind of hex indicated on the board with green not work symbols. So the reason why they say you start with six of these is because you need to place them all to win. Uh, but we know that we're going to six, so we'll, we'll say that we're playing to six locations, okay, uh, in a two-player game. The player or team to have all of their control markers placed on the locations is the winner, so we're playing to six, okay? Now, <clears throat> first phase of the first round, at the beginning of this tutorial game, is drawing coins. So do you each have your three coins? Yes. So, Millie, you have what's called initiative, so you're going to use the first coin first. Now let's talk about how to use coins, okay? Now, on the back of the rule book is a player action summary, which is very nice uh, to be able to have. Um, so basically, uh, there's two ways to use coins, uh, face up or face down. Starting with the player with initiative, which shows here, this is going to be Millie first. You're going to take turns taking actions and using the coins in your hands, one at a time until both your hands are empty. Okay, each coin can be used to perform a single action. Each player will need to keep an area separate to their supply. That will be your discard pile. It is from the discard pile that you, you refill your bag when you need more coins, not from the supply. There are nine possible actions broken into three classes, okay? The first type of action with a coin is place a unit face up onto the board to deploy or bolster. It's called a placement action. So Millie, why don't you show us how to deploy a unit? Deploy is bring, using a coin from your hand and putting them onto the board. Very good. Now, where's another place where you could deploy? That's right. Could you deploy anywhere else besides those two, those two spots? Yeah. No, because we can only deploy out of locations that we control. Okay. Um, the other type of placement action is called a bolster. Now, I believe you showed the camera two of those, right? So show us how to bolster if it was your turn. Remember how to bolster? Leave that guy on the on the board, and then you use the same type and you put it right on top. And what that does is add a second health to your unit, so it's harder for him to be removed from the game. But we're not going to bolster now, so go ahead and take that coin back. All right. The second type of action is discarding a coin face down. Discard a coin face down into your discard pile to claim initiative, which means you can take initiative. So, Clavin, if you go ahead and discard a coin face down, if you wanted to, you could flip this so that you're first on the next. But we are also have the option to discard a coin face down to recruit. Recruit is adding a coin from your supply to your discard pile. So go ahead and do that. So you already discarded it face down. So now pick a coin that you want. There you go. That adds to your discard pile for the next time your bag is refilled. You could also pass with a face down coin if you wanted to. All right, and lastly, you can discard a coin face up to do actions. So Millie went, she deployed. Clavin went, he recruited. Back to Millie, she's going to discard a coin face up that matches this one. Yep, face up, discard. There you go to do uh, a maneuver with this unit. A maneuver can be four things. You can move, attack, take control, or use the tactic special move on the card. So for now, the only thing you can do is a regular move. So go ahead and move, which is one space next to where the coin is currently at. 
there you go that was a successful maneuver okay uh, the special coin there's a royal coin that we have in our bag one coin for each player that does not have a matching unit it can only be used to perform face down actions or in special cases such as the royal guard or for decrees with the nobility expansion okay so uh, the rulebook goes into detail on uh, deploy bolster claiming initiative recruiting passing and then uh, the four face up actions the move which are all maneuvers the move control attack or tactic I will show those pages in the tutorial now if you'd like to pause and read but we've basically gone over them already so we're gonna keep going with this tutorial game. Millie just went and moved her cavalry. Clavin, what are you gonna do next? I will put one down and buy another one. Clavin recruits a light cavalry. Back to Millie. Millie will deploy a lancer. Back to Clavin. Clavin deploy. deploys a light cavalry. Okay, initiative stays the same. We're going to go back into our bag and draw three more. All right, so since initiative is the same, Millie goes first. All right, what's she doing there? She's going to use a Lancer coin face up to move the Lancer one space. Back over to Clavin. He's going to discard face down and recruit another light cavalry. Back to Millie. Millie is discarding face down to recruit a cavalry coin. Clavin. Clavin is going to uh, deploy his pikemen. All right, we have a question from Millie. What to do with the royal seal coin? So we can only do special things that say royal seal which we don't have in this game or use use it face down and face down you can do three things you can take the initiative which you can't do because you already have it you can recruit which is buying another coin or pass so she's going to go face down and recruit another cavalry back over to Clavin. Laven's going to go face down and buy a crossbow. Let's get back into our bag for round three, drawing three more coins each. Millie still has initiative. She will go first. Millie has deployed a scout. Now, the scout has a special ability. The scout's special ability can be deployed next to any friendly coin, any friendly unit. So he doesn't have to go here if you don't want him to. He can go anywhere next to someone friendly. Okay. You can redo it if you want. He's she's gonna move him and instead deploy right onto the new location over there. Very good. Let's let's pause for a moment just to make sure all the players know the abilities. The Lancer has the tactic which lets him charge and attack. One or even two spaces. So from from where the Lancer is into a straight line he can attack two or even three spaces away by moving and hitting okay the cavalry can move and attack but the cap only one space but the cavalry can do it in not just in a straight line right well I guess it's always in a straight line but uh, the attack can be not in the straight line that he moves all right, we saw the scout's ability, and the last ability of the archer is that the archer can shoot. So if the archer was here, it could shoot two spaces away. The archer can shoot over people, but the archer cannot use a regular attack. On Clavin's side, we have the light cavalry that can do a special move two spaces. The pikeman, which uh, hits, attacks an enemy if it gets attacked next by melee, by next to it. Uh, then we have the swordsman. The swordsman gets to uh, move after it attacks. And the crossbowman gets to shoot in a straight line two spaces away. Uh, it cannot shoot over units, but it, but it does have a sword. Okay, so Millie had done her scout. Back to Clavin's turn. Daddy. 
Well, you don't have that unit on the board, so nothing right now. Oh, right. So Clavin's run into a conundrum of he can't use a swordman face up because he doesn't have a swordman on the board. So instead, he'll play a coin face down and buy a swordsman. Nope, he's changing his mind. He's buying a crossbow. All right, back to Millie Bear. Millie is going to go face up. Let's do a separate pile for each coin. Oh. And she's going to take control of that location. Very good. Millie has just taken the lead three to two. Back to Clavin. Clavin's going to discard face down and buy a swordsman. And back to Millie. Millie's going to go face down and recruit a Lancer. Okay. Last turn for the round is Clavin's going to do Royal Seal. Are you taking initiative? Okay, you can do that with face down coin. Okay, but that's okay. All right, let's talk about how round one went. So if we're looking at um, the table here on the board, we have Clavin still stuck on top of his deployment zones. So it's going to be hard for him to bring out new units next round. And he's far away from points on the board. Millie has gone up twice and even has a scout that took over a new location. So round one went really well for Millie, but not for Clayton. Also, let's look at our bags. If we look at our discard piles, since both of our bags are empty, Millie has a total of nine coins. Now what that means is when she draws three coins, she'll get a third of all of her coins, which is which means she has a good chance of drawing what she wants. Over here on Clavin's side, he has 14 coins. No, nope, not 14. 13. 13 coins. All right, so when he draws three coins, it's gonna be very lucky and random of what he's gonna get. So uh, Millie is also winning in the bad control area of the game because she has more control over her pack. All right, so. Let's refill our bags, shake them up, and draw three each again. Because you only refill and draw, refill, shake, and draw once you run out. So since we have different coins, amount of coins in our bag now, we're going to run out at different times. All right, everybody's drawn three. Clavin has now initiative now, so he goes first. Another recruit. He is putting more coins in his bag instead of moving those guys. Go ahead, Millie Bear. Millie is... Okay, so did you try to do this? Wait. That's because that's one rule. Go ahead and put it here. This is one rule that we didn't say yet. You can only have one unit of each type on the board at one time. So this is not legal to do. So Millie's going to pick something else to do. She's going to bring out, which means deploy, her archer. Okay, all four units of Millie's are on the board now. Go ahead, Clavin. Clavin is another face down. Recruitment of light cavalry this time. Back to Millie. Is it face down? Face up to move. Face up. Archer coin to move the archer one space. Back to Clavin. Face down to recruit again. He likes coins in his bag. And over to Millie. Face down to recruit a Lancer. Okay, so after that round, Clavin has informed me that he had no choice because he did not draw his light cavalry or pikemen. But that's what happens when you put a bunch of coins in your bag. You're not sure what you're going to get. All right, so let's draw three more and go again. This is round five, I believe. And Clavin, you have initiative. Still. Still no pikemen or light cavalry. Oh no. You're stuck. Go ahead and do something. Face down. Buying another coin. <laughs> and over to Millie. She's going to go face up to move. There you go. In the same stack. To move her Lancer. Alright. Over to Clavin. <laughs> He's going to buy his last... He's going to recruit his last unit coin. All right, over to Millie. 
Clavin's bag is now just a big ball of random. Can I pass with this clue? Yeah. Millie, what's she thinking of doing? She's going to go face up to move one space with her cavalry. All right, so Clavin has one last coin, which he'll pass with, right? Okay, and over to Millie. She's going to go face up and move one space. I will move... Face up coin of the light cavalry to move one, or you can use the tactic to move two. She's going to move two, okay. Over to Millie. I'm going to... Millie's going to move one with the cavalry, straight up. Back to Clavin. Claim that spot. He's going to control location with the light cavalry using a face up light cavalry coin. Back to Millie. Cavalry. Wait. Yeah, you're going to control as well. So face up, take control of a new location. The score would just tied at 3 3, and Millie comes with another. It's 4 3 to Millie, has the lead. Clavin has now deployed his crossbow, it's on the battlefield. That's a dangerous guy right there. Back to Millie. And she's going to go face down to go, yeah, go ahead. To take first player. All right. Draw three. You're all out. If you're all out, or do you have none at all? Okay, if you're all out, then you put your discard pile back in your bag, shake them up, and then draw three. Clavin's got three, but you're not first. You gotta wait for Millie to shake up and draw. All right, let's go. First turn. Millie's going to... Are you taking the location or are you bolstering? I'm going to take the location. Okay. She's face up, discarding to take the location. All right, it is now five to three. Millie is one space away from winning this game. What can Cleveland do? Go ahead, bud. What do you got? Now remember, this guy can only attack in a straight line and not close to him. This guy can only attack at two away, not close to him. This guy can move one, then attack. Yes. Passing, okay. Millie's going to bolster her scout. Interesting choice. Alrighty. Go ahead, Clavin. <coughs> <laughs> we have the finger motion from Millie's side to bring it on. Clavin's going to use his light cavalry to just move one. Or oh, bolster. Okay. Wait. Yeah. You can move two. Move one. Oh, right there. All right. That's a good spot. This guy can't attack because it's not in a straight line. And this guy can't attack because the archer can't attack next door. The cavalry could. All right, Millie, what do you got? The archer is going to move and stay next. Oh, move backwards. Okay. Back to Clavin. Bolstering the pikemen. Okie dokie. Alrighty, and Millie was first, so that must mean you guys are ready to redraw. You only got one coin left, so draw the one coin, and then put the rest of your discard pile in your bag, and draw two more. That's a big discard pile, yeah. It's going to be tough for Clavin to come back, but we shall see... All right, so Sparrow has first play. Go ahead. Oh, I'm going to... Face up. Can I do this? Yep. So she's going to use her tactic of the cavalry to move one and attack. When a unit is attacked, it comes off the board out of play. The swordsman comes out finally. Okay. Over to Millie. Mm -hmm. 
Millie's going to discard the cavalry face up to move on to her last location needed. Clavin? You're going to have to do something. Nope. You're, you're one space away from shooting him. So what do you need to do? He's going to move this crosswoman up. All right, over to Millie. Move the Lancer up. Or over. Okay. And over to Clavin. Clavin has another crossbow man. He's going to take aim and shoot and get rid of that cavalry. Okay. Let's redraw. Black's initiative, or Sparrow, or in this case, Player B. So, Millie Bear, you're first. She is going to move the Lancer into dangerous position. Nope. Oh, she's going to bolster the Lancer. Okay. <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Clavin. Swordsman. Face up to... Now, did you forget? he The, the Lancer can't attack you if you're next to him. You forgot. Yeah, that's, that's a rule that you forget a lot. So you want to move him close? Okay. A little bit of help from Dad there. Go ahead, Millie. Your turn. Over there. Okay, Clavin, your turn. Oh, light bulb moment. Ding! There it goes. Cavalry is getting shot down two in a row. Millie Bear. She's going to buy a scout. And I will take first turn. Clavin takes first turn. And is that all three? Yep. Let's go again. You're all out? Okay. All right, let's finish this game up. Clavin, you're first. He's got a swordsman, so he's going to attack, and he gets a free move after an attack. That's a swordsman special. Which way are you going to go? That way. Okay. Millie Bear. Um, no idea. Okay. Clavin. Face down to buy a scout. Clavin comes back with a control location from the swordsman, which gets him to four. It is now five to four. Millie's turn. Another face down to buy an archer. Clavin. He's going to move the crossbowman towards the scout. Over to Millie. Take first turn by, or okay, taking first turn. Draw three, and Millie goes first. We're almost there. Millie's going to discard an archer, coin face up to use the attack, and shoot the swordsman. Not move. There you go. Clavin's turn. Clavin's going to bring out a light cavalry. That was a really good place to bring out a unit to block Millie from going on it. So, what's Millie going to do now? She's going to go and bolster her Lancer. Okay. Interesting. Move again. Clavin's going to bolster his light cavalry in response. Mm -hmm. Millie's going to go face down to buy a scout. And Clavin is going to go face up to attack the Lancer. Okay. Let's draw three, and Millie goes first. One in Millie's back, so she needs to refill, shuffle, and draw two more. Millie's going to go face up with the scout. Okay, back to Clavin. Clavin's going to move his pikeman up. Okay. Millie. Millie's going to use an archer coin face up to attack the light cavalry. Clavin's going to re-bolster the light cavalry. <laughs> And Millie is going to face down, face up, where could we go face up, right there, okay. All right, Clavin is going to deploy the swordsman, okay. Draw three, Millie goes first. Millie, you only need to draw a scout to win. There it is. Millie's going to play her 
Last coin of the game and take control of that sixth location. Congratulations to Millie. What were your thoughts? Clavin, where do you think you messed up this game? I think I messed up starting to place more down and moving my characters instead of buying all of my stuff first. So you so you so what you did this game was buy all your stuff first. Yes. And that's where you messed up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Millie, what did you think of this game? You think you did good? Yeah. Yeah, you did good early, but Clavin almost came back, huh? Yeah. And I think it's because you started wanting to attack instead of finish the game. We forget sometimes that we want six points on the board. That's how you win. It's not about the attacking. Yeah. Well, good job. Fist bumps to both of you. Thank you for watching, everyone.